Hello, so we're here with uh, Sharon Tao, the head designer of uh, Mr. Keith. Um, I have the honor to interview her for my blog. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming. Uh, I am extremely excited to have you here in Chicago. I mean, uh, I visited Mesquite in Israel and I was completely blown away by everything I've seen. It was a very, very emotional moment uh, for me. Wow. And I'm really excited to talk to you, to ask you a few questions and to bring the story to, to my readers. Uh, so first of all, I heard uh, you word for uh, everybody. I'm just asking you that question for Lynn Van and for Alexander McQueen. Yeah. How did you get? Uh, how did you get a job? Okay, so like, that was an internship, uh, and it was like when Albert came to the studio. Uh, to the studio. So she came when I was a student, and uh, they chose like few people to to actually talk to him, and I was like, oh my god, God is coming to Shankar, and I have to speak to him and. They chose me as one of the students, and um, I had a project, it was like second year, and I had a project with lots of zippers, and you know, Albert loves zippers, so it was like immediate, like, click, click, the thing. yeah, and he was like inviting me to do an uh, internship in the summer, and then after I got, uh, I didn't finish my uh, internship, I uh, came back to Israel to do the third year, and then I asked if I can come again, and he said, yes, you're more than welcome, and I came again. So yeah, and for the McQueen, it was just a uh, really it was just luck. I came there and I had my um, final project that was dealing with recycling and plastic dresses, small dresses, right. and they loved it because they also did a collection about recycling. And they said, okay, let's let's try and do something together. And then uh, I just I just replaced my boss, which was the head of the boarding department, and just stayed there. So, for a long time, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's extremely exciting. What are what are the qualities and expertise that you learn at the session house that you're planning on bringing to Mesquite? So first, the embroidery. You know, I didn't even know what embroidery is. I thought it's like thread and needle. And embroideries are like a whole world, you know, materials, uh, techniques, uh, different threads, different sequins. You can create your own embroideries. You can use like uh, uh, old techniques and bring it to the new world. And I think the most important thing. And second is the quality. Uh, I, I worked in the best places, so I saw what quality is. And I think that if I'm bringing the best quality with the best, uh, the, the, the most uniqueness way you can design, so well, I couldn't agree with you more because I've actually been working a lot with uh, uh, Israeli designers, especially those that just graduated from Shankar, and I see a lot of their initial collections, and I do see a lot of quality issues, and so I, when I visited Mesquite, I was really amazed by the highest quality yeah. of the work. We're doing, we're doing ready to wear, but we use all the couture techniques. So it's how crazy. do you mean? How do you maintain uh, such an amazing quality? How are you able to manufacture such high quality products in Israel? So first, the embroidery we are doing with the best uh, suppliers in the world, with the ones who are doing to the, all the big houses, from Tom Ford to Chanel to McQueen and Lanva and everybody. So those are like, this is my quality insurance for the embroidery. Okay. So for the stitching, we have like uh, seven, seven uh, seamstresses in the, in the studio. Uh, that are all being qualified in Russia. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they are like, they have like the ma their masters in teaching. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's something like that in Israel you can't find. Absolutely. So I, I, I actually researched for two, two and a half years to find those those women, and I, I don't let them go. It's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Um. I have to ask you a question because I read a lot of material about you and about um, about Mesquite, and um, and I have to ask you, what did you, uh, how you were able to convince Ruth Young to revive the brand? Because I know there were some other yeah, there were like in the past there were people that, that approached her yeah, and she wouldn't want to do it. How what made her like now when I see you and I talk to her and I heard you, I can understand why she fell in love for you, but I wanna. When Actually, I, I don't know. Like this is something you have to ask her. But uh, as you could see in the movie, like I think it was a uh, love from first first sight. Like uh, we just saw each other, we talked, and we understood that we had to do something together. You know, like she was 94, I was 30. It's like you know, I'm third of her age, and but 
she's amazing, and I think she she understood that I'm I'm I work in the best places, and I know I will not take my skip to 2000. It was then 11, and bring it and bring the old skip to the new world and do it right. I don't know. That I think that's what she thought. But, uh, is she involved in the design process? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 not really. No. She she's involved in the She's really active when she comes a lot of the studio. But Mosquito is not a uh, Ruth is not a designer. She never was. She and was really good about hiring the right people at the right yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. To take the right people, put them in the right positions. She has the best taste you can ever think of. Like she's a stylist and she. So she just, uh, that's what she's doing now. She always calls me, Sean, I saw this jewelry. You have to meet her. You have to do something with her. And this is how it goes. That's amazing. So it's a big team work in a really, really good team work. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite piece of your collection? Is it the Desert Coast? The Desert Coast, yeah, Coast? Yeah, of course. Look, I have a lot of pieces that I love. Like I love scarves. I love, I love these Tunisian uh, tops. But the desert coast first tells this magic of being like the first iconic piece that they designed, and it really fits all. It, I, I have customers from the age of 22 to 90 who bought this coat, actually 98 because the coat also has it, and they love it and it looks great on them. It just looks great on everybody and it's so practical and so uh, unique with the stitches, the hand stitches, and so it's like. One of the I tried it on today. I fall and I completely understand it. Um, what is going to be the next for my skin? I think uh, international market. International market. Yeah, definitely. So where people can buy the mask right now? They can buy it in Israel or they can buy it uh, from us. Not online yet. We are working on it. But uh, they can just call us. They wow, I like this uh, outfit on the on the website. We have. An amazing website so they can go through all, uh, almost all the collection. And that is, there they can just uh, search where we are at the moment because we are traveling all over the world from Europe to the US, different cities, and just may, maybe wait that we will come to their place. Absolutely, I'm sure it will. And uh, my last final question like, how do you feel to be a part of something so big and something that has so much history and heritage? And, um, this is a this is a tough question because it can be very nice and very like uh, magical and very like uh, sexy in a way, but it's a lot of responsibility and it's a hard hard work. I'm working really hard, so you know it's ups and downs. It can be in general, it's amazing. I wouldn't do anything else, anything like. When I'm thinking about if I could do something else, no, I want to do mosquito and this is my life mission. But uh, but it's hard. It's hard. Well, you're doing such a phenomenal job, and I don't think that today I could choose any better than you. I'm so thrilled and I'm so inspired by uh, by your story. And I just want to ask you one more question. Yeah. Uh, I've been working a lot with Israeli designers, as I said, and um, a lot of them are struggling. To me, you already a success story. And I, I mean, you've been doing such an amazing job, and I've been heard about you already from so many different businesses. Um, and I was just wondering what kind of tips or advice you would give uh, to young Israeli designers, like how to move them to the next level, or how to be better designers. So I would definitely say go study after school. You know, uh, in Israel, we don't have fashion houses. At all. So it's not like in Paris when a person graduates from fashion design school, he just goes to Alba, he goes to Dior, he goes to whatever, Balenciaga, Balma. So he has a lot of options to actually do the internship to learn, to, to understand business because it's fine, like finally it's a, business, it's a business. In Israel, they don't have it, and the only option is either to go to my, one of the biggest companies like uh, Casco or Fox or lots of these high street yeah. uh, brands, but they cannot hire every, everyone. Oh, now to go to Mesquite, but we also very small. Are you so planning on hiring and more? We have. Because they're really young. That's we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have people. Or to just open their own thing. 
but I wouldn't recommend it after school because that's mm-hmm. straight. Yeah, yeah, you need to you need to be in the business to be to to leave this uh, this world because it's, it's hard. It's not something just sexy, just doing clothes, wear and like people wear it, and it's business, it's money, it's it's accounting, it's sales, it's marketing, it's a lot of things together with fashion. So you have to understand everything before you jumping into the water and build your own thing. That's the tip. Well, thank you so much, Sharon, for thank your time. You. I hope you have a great stay in Chicago. Yeah, it's already almost finished. I can't believe it. Well, we really hope that this event was a huge success for you, and we really hope you're going to be coming next we will. year. We will, definitely. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.